Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to, to to kick off part 5 for the last 32 round and yes we got two more matches for you to look forward to as we will see Engineer Gaming take on Ultimate Dino King and then Star Pumpkin going up against Arctic Warriors. But enough chit chat there, let's get on with them. Alright, at first for Engineer Gaming we have an Acrocanthosaurus. This guy's been a solid starter for Engineer Gaming, who has definitely picked up a lot of form coming into this round. And has looked really strong in, and looked really strong in Group G. Okay, as for as for the Dino King in the blue corner, we have a Brachylophosaurus. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm so coffee today. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not sick. Anyway. Ultima Dino King, fresh off. Fresh off that impressive win over Ibuki to buck their place in the last 32. But can Ultimate Dino King here kick on? Ooh, the Brachylophosaurus gets off the first hit. Oh, that's a tie. And that's exactly what Ultimate Dino King wants because of that blunder type. Oh no, move breaker, sorry, move breaker. And it does take down the, the Acrocanthosaurus' HP down a bit, but ties also help the Ac Acrocanthosaurus get off a burning dash. And this is going to do a lot of damage. And it might kill the Brachylophosaurus. Oh, it almost killed it, almost killed it. There's the Emerald Garden, but... Because of Move Breaker, Flare Sword had zero chance of activating, and that probably saved Brachylophosaurus from dying. Oh, that's a tie, and that will be enough to give Engineer Gaming a 1 0 lead. Alright, as for Ultimate Second Dino, we have a Super Talarurus. The interesting thing about this match is that both of our combats have a Super Talarurus in their team. Okay, Awaken Mode on 2 for Engineer Gaming, and it's free for Ultimate. Although, Ultimate's is definitely more defensive than Engineer Gaming's. But we'll see which style pays off. But back to the match, Ultimate Dino King still has to get rid of this Acrocanthosaurus first, before he can even think about taking on the Talarurus. Crucial that that burning dash does not activate. Oh, another tie. Oh, how costly could this be? A burning dash from the Acrocanthosaurus? Oh, this could be costly. It might actually be lethal. Oh my god, it killed it! <laughs> oh, uh, well, all, well, all of a sudden. Oh, the Dino King's down to Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. It's our same old story. When you don't take out the first Dino, you go 2-0 down. And that has happened to Ultimate again. But I don't think... I didn't expect to get to this stage. I thought it would be much tighter than this. But the, the Acrocanthosaurus got off that big burning dash. And that burning dash is the reason why Engineer Gaming, well, did have a 2 0 lead, but that's been reduced to 2 1. And there's the attack boost there. That could definitely come in handy for Alpha Acrocanthosaurus if Ultima Dino King wants to get back in the match. Well, we won't get a ta Super Tala versus Super Tala match up here, but as for Engineer Gaming's second Dino, we do indeed have a Super Tala Rose. And as you can see, it's definitely the more attacking type work version. Well, it's more attack minded with the moveset than Ultimate's was. Ooh, but the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus is getting off hits, and that attack boost will increase the damage dealt, as you can see there. Right, that's once. Ooh, I tell you what, Ultimate storming back into the match. But the Awakened mode from the Talarurus might change all that. Oh, it's a tie! And that's exactly what Engineer Gaming wants, because of the damage. 
Oh, it's a hit, but the Dino Stuffer is going to come in and deny the Spike Arrows and deny Engineer Gaming the opportunity to land some major damage on the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Oh, how big could that be? There's the tie, and that will finish off Talarurus. And Ultima Dino King has pulled this match back. Alright, as for Engineer Gaming's third dino, we have a Parasaurolophus Dino Tester. This thing has definitely been impressive for Engineer Gaming. And has been one of the big reasons why Engineer Gaming won Group G. But this Alpha Acrocanthosaurus right now is on a roll. Oh, look at this, another hit from Ultima Dino King. Alpha Acrocanthosaurus looking in prime condition, but there's the Emerald Garden being triggered. That could definitely help Engineer Gaming slow the momentum. Oh, it's a tie. What is this crit? I forgot what this crit is. Oh, it's Dino Force. Okay, this might be lethal for Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. As it's so long as I don't mess it up. I think this might kill it. I'm not sure. Boosh. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Oh, it didn't kill it, but it has left Engineer Gaming on the brink of winning. Ooh. However, a light recovery will help the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus survive a tie. There's the Emerald Garden. Oh, a tie will do it for Ultimate now. It all comes down to this. Whatever happens here, this will be the final round. Oh, it's a tie! But that will be enough for Ultima Dino King to defeat Engineer Gaming and advance to the last 16. Oh, what a big win that is for Ultima Dino King. Massive. <laughs> Knocking out Engineer Gaming there after going 2-0 down. The Alpha Acrocanthosaurus pulled it back. Oh, that's a huge win for Ultima Dino King. Very impressive. And could Ultima Dino King go all the way? Right, moving on to our second match of this video. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Star Pumpkin taking on Arctic Warriors. At first for Star Pumpkin, we have a Spinosaurus. Star Pumpkin just managing to secure their qualification to the last 32. Looking to see if they can take a bite out of Arctic Warriors' is impressive performance so far in this tournament. Anyway, as for Arctic Warriors' is first dino, we have a Mega Raptor. We've definitely seen what this thing can do. And it's definitely a big reason why Arctic Warriors have got this far. Although, it didn't quite happen for the Meg in the, la in the, la in the last matchup. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the last matchup. Oh, oh, RNG being slow, but there's the crit. There's the standard opening crit from the Mega Raptor, and Mayfly will be triggered. Oh, and there's a biting wind. Yet again, a strong start from the Mega Raptor. And look at this, the Spino doesn't know what's hit him. Ooh, but I tell you what, the Spinosaurus does get off a tail smash, so the Mega Raptor will take damage. And will take a lot of damage, look at that. But there's the Hurricane Beat being triggered. Ooh, Spinosaurus fighting back here, and I think the Mega Raptor has bit the dust. Oh, maybe not. Oh, hang on. This is Aqua Javelin, so yes. Mega Raptor will indeed be going down. And Star Pumpkin, after a slow start, gets a 1 0 lead. Right, as for Arctic Warriors' second dino, we have an Alpha Sukumimus. 
this thing has mainly been the finisher because Megaraptor does all the hard work. But this time, the Sukumimus, the Alpha Sukumimus, is gonna have to pull his finger out. Because the Megaraptor unexpectedly died early. And pull its finger out it does indeed, because the Aqua Whip will even the score. Oh, very even so far. A strong start from Arctic Warriors was counteracted by a quick attack by Star Pumpkin, and it leads us to the situation we're at now, where both of our combatants are down to our sec their second dinos. Star Pumpkins being the Alpha Acrocamphosaurus, which will be at a tight disadvantage against our Suko, so that could prove crucial in deciding who wins and who loses this match. Oh, that's a tie. But I think they'll, yeah, they'll suit the Suko more because there is that chance of Ocean Panic being triggered. However, the Alpha Acro starts off with a hit. But yeah, look at that. No damage at all. Hell, even the poison did more damage than the actual attack. And well, look how much damage this attack's going to do. Wow, you can see the difference here, that what the type advantage can do for you. Like, one hit from the super... I know, granted it was a crit, and this guy's crit is pretty decent, but still, all our damage. And well, look how much damage this Aqua Whip's going to do. And I think this Aqua Whip is going to take out the Alpha Acrocamphosaurus and give... Stop! No. Uh, oh, no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> Well, the poison won't kill it, because that's not how poison works. But look at that, the Alpha Acrocamphosaurus hanging on by a Fred. But a Fred is not enough, as the Sukumimus gets off the scissors to cut the Alpha Acro strings. Alright, as for Star Pumpkin's third dino, we have a Megaraptor. Can Star Pumpkin's Megaraptor fare better than Arctic Warrior's Megaraptor did? Well, it'd probably have the exact same power and strength if this was Biting Wind, but oh well. It's Stomping Hammer instead. Of course, this Megaraptor has to get past the Sukumimus first, before he can even think about taking on the Megalosaurus. Oh, that's a tie. But no Ocean Panic again, because Alpha Suko's technique isn't too great. I mean, it's okay, but it's not great. Oh, three ties in a row there. Will be enough to take out the Sukumimus and pull it back for Star Pumpkin. As for Arctic Warriors' third dino, we have the pain in the ass to make, the Megalosaurus. And well, no need to go through all the moves, because again, it's all secret moves, so there's nothing fancy. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, but the gigantic fall being triggered early on. And well, the Megalosaurus did go for it, but the Megaraptor was having none of it. Ooh, boosh, boosh, boosh. Stomping hammer there, stomping the Megalosaurus in the ground. Oh, the Mega Raptor getting off another head. Star Pumpkin turning the screw on this match. But I think one secret move from the Megalosaurus could change that, and all of them have been triggered this time. But none of them be activated. Oh, that's another tie. Oh, God. Arctic Warriors needs to get the next hit, or it'll be elimination. Oh, and he does, I think, might have just snatched the match. Oh, look at that, look at that. <laughs> I said this is an even match, and it all comes down to this. I should point out that if this is a tie, then we're going to have to do the match again. Oh, it's not a tie. The Mega Raptor snatching the match for Star Pumpkin with a Mayfly. And <laughs> thankfully, it wasn't a tie, so we don't have to do the match again. <laughs> 
Megalosaurus bite in the dust, and so does Arctic Warriors. Ironically defeated by a Megaraptor. The dinosaur that gave Arctic Warriors so much success in the group stage doesn't come through for them in the knockout round. Right. Oh, that makes things interesting, doesn't it? So, we will see in the last 16, Ultimate Dino King taking on Star Pumpkin. And I feel like that might be a good match for Ultimate Dino King. Actually, no, it won't be because the Mega Raptor... No, that's Arctic Warriors. Yeah, I think this might be a decent match for Ultimate Dino King. See it? Could we see a clash between Ultimate Dino Queen and Ultimate Dino King? I hope so. <laughs> but anyway, stay tuned for next time where we will see... Pilk taking on Dino Nerd and Darius going up against Blood Moon. And until then, this is Strange.